Hello guys, this is Afro and I want to talk about the new event. This is going to be a short video, but it is important. So, Pumpkin Fest is actually a Halloween event. Just like we had the summer event, we're going to have a Halloween event. And I think this is going to be something they do every year for the game. Kind of like what IS does with Fire Emblem, where they have a Halloween and they have a summer and they have a winter banner and just know the way that these gacha games like to do these events are super important and the stuff that they offer is really good so let's talk about the missions first some of the missions are really easy to do like you all all you have to do for one mission is raise up chocobo staff which you get pretty early and you clear content in order to get access to the candies and you watch the epilogue of pumpkin fest i think the story was really good they had a little bit of hit of sephiroth's past which i thought was nice synthesizing material is pretty easy so let's talk about the dailies dailies are pretty this is the thing about dailies you don't want to overtax your stamina getting all the stuff at once as you have 13 days to do this, so you can actually be moderate with your stamina usage concerning these missions. Because every time we do a reset, you get 100 dorky lanterns, you get 50 lanterns, you get 200 dorky lanterns, you get 100, you do 500, you get 200. So that's, that's kind of stuff that you don't want to waste. So I think you should do a little bit of moderation. Excuse me. Because over time, you will get all of the stuff that you want or need so let's talk about the actual quest so to speak so one thing that you will notice when you go through this it, it's really easy at first and i think that's for free to play and i like the fact that they made it so easy for free to play but once you get up here it gets kind of difficult and it gets really difficult and dark army leader ex2 is really difficult if you don't have the proper characters the thing that gets me is a lot of people said that Aerith, Aerith's costume was a pass. And really, it wasn't. And I, I kind of hate to say this. I don't think Sephiroth's costume is a pass. I don't think it's a pass. I, don't, I really don't even think Cloud's costume is a pass, really. Unless Glenn and Zack show up with some, like, boss gear and weapons... I'm probably going to try to summon to get all, all the costumes and weapons for Cloud and Sephiroth. That's what I'm looking at. If I think that Glenn and Matt suck, I mean Glenn and Zack suck, then I'm not going to roll on that banner and I'm just going to roll for Zack, I mean Sephiroth and Cloud. That's all I'm going to do because their costumes are really good. So let's talk about co-op content. If you're playing co-op, bring some win material. But if you're an Aerith player, you actually can like kill the boss before you eat, he even finishes the the um, seizure break because she's so powerful. So if you play Aerith and you have her costume, then people would want to play with you because I played this. A lot and even if my weapons level 80 uninvested no overboost I'm still ripping this enemy apart and I rip through like the boss on stage 19 so Aerith's a real big help here with her costume so if you have her you're good to go you don't really need any strategy or hints or tips just have her heal DPS and you're good to go so let's talk about rewards for a second because I think they're worth mentioning. So here we go to exchange. This exchange is pretty important for the fact that you get a lot of good stuff. So of course your main priority is chocobo staff. Try to get that knocked out. But after that, you want to get, get the costume knocked out. Another thing that you really want to target. Let me go down here. Is the air specific weapon parts. Because if you're an air player. This is super important. 
the Chocobo costume is super important. So outside of that, what are you targeting? What do you want to target your resources? If you don't want to finish all of it, this is stuff that I think you should do. First of all, the Synth Catalyst is a must. The Gacha Tickets is a must. The 10 Gacha Tickets is a must. Aerith and Glenn's Memory, a must. If you want to, you can skip bookmarks. You can skip Choco Booster if you really want to. But Nano Cube, a must. The Nano Cube, the Genome Pods, must. The Electrium, the Steel, and the Rose Gold, they're skips. This stuff is skips if you do, don't want to do it anymore and you get bored. The Grindstone Chunk, must. Grindstone Pier, must. Uh, Material Booster, this is a really good one, a, a must. This is a super must. Because it's hard enough in order to build material, but this, this is a really big must. So all the power pieces, magic piece, healing piece, the must, and gill. This is a must, but this is for those players who over-saturate the stamina. So you don't have to get this, but there's some stuff you can definitely skip. Like the electrium, the steel and stuff, you can skip that. Because I, I get plenty of that. Because I farm, I get plenty of that. So I'm not worried about it. Neither should you. But there's some stuff here that you definitely want to have. But there's some stuff that you definitely could skip. Let's go back and look at co-op missions here. The reason why Dark Army Leader 4 is more important than Dark Army Leader 3, 2, and 1. Because you're getting this grindstone chunk. And that's always a good thing to farm. I'm glad like in these new co-op battles that are actually offering you grindstone chunk because this is the fastest way to build weapons and you don't want to be without it you want to have it in access because it will deplete rapidly more so than gold itself this um, resources this resource like stamina depletes rapidly so it's good that you have it but anyways these are the things that you would like to do in this content don't overdo it because you have a couple of days so anyways if you like my content hit the like share subscribe button have a great day and goodbye